Now, we will travel south along the coast, and we will land Diablo Canyon. So, um, this is an interesting and unusual circumstance of sorts for, um, for this plant, because there is a, uh, there's not continuity, there's not consistency with some of the terms of expiration uh, yes. as it relates to the larger federal issues, the NRC, uh, in 2024, 2025, respectfully, there's this lease, which is not insignificant, turns out, uh, perhaps very significant, uh, if it's not extended, uh, 18 and 19. So it gives this, this body an um, uh, enormous amount of influence, perhaps, over the ultimate determination of its fate and future. And as a consequence, it's a very serious discussion. This is the last remaining plan of its type in the state of California. It, it services an extraordinary need in terms of its uh, total output. It has a huge economic impact on the region, more broadly the state, and one could argue the nation. Uh, so it's not uh, a, 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 an insignificant question that we're being asked. Um, and it's a question that not only are we being asked, but many other agencies are being asked. And if I were a pundit, I'm not. Um, and there's nothing worse than an elected official that tries to be. So <laughs> let me be that person for a moment with that caveat. Um, I, I just don't see that this plant is going to survive beyond 24, 2025. I don't see that. Now, I absolutely may be wrong, but that's the punditry. Um, and there is a compelling argument as to why it shouldn't. Uh, there's a legitimate concern about not just nuclear, we can even push that as a, an aside because there are good people in the environmental community that feel that nuclear must play an outsized role in terms of achieving our uh, greenhouse gas reductions of 80% by 2050 that's marked in most of our conscience. And, and I'll leave that as an aside, but the question is, is this the site that it should operate with all of the questions of seismic instability? Questions that seem to arise every few years. Another fault is mm -hmm. discovered. Another fault is discovered. Another question mark about its, uh, its safety uh, and its potential uh, capacity uh, to survive uh, an earthquake um, uh, that's certainly more modest than the outsized quake at Fukushima, but nonetheless an earthquake of a magnitude 7.5 mm -hmm. um, or even below, depending on the quake. We've discovered quakes, its proximity or with, uh, in some cases, less than a thousand feet from critical infrastructure of this plant, uh, then certainly a few miles with other discoveries. Uh, there's a huge population density in and around the area, over half a million people within 50 square miles, and we are in the future business in California. And that means we're in the renewables business. The cost is getting cheaper and cheaper, and our capacity to do great things uh, has been excelled by the great leadership we have in the state that's marked uh, in, um, uh, in um, re very recent terms uh, some new audacious goals that California will meet because that's who we are. Uh, and so it's given me pause and consideration in terms of the role of this commission and that's why I appreciate your recommendation to pause for the moment and support that. Uh, and to reflect upon what was just mentioned as it relates to our obligations. Uh, you know, when this was originally, uh, this lease was put in place, it's absolutely right. There was no CEQA considerations back then. We didn't know a lot back then compared to what we know today. And it is not without precedent, as it was mentioned on the CEQA question, uh, with these, um, these oil leases. Uh, that what appears to be a benign question of extending an existing lease uh, triggers CEQA considerations. Why? Uh, one would consider the same here. Um, I don't know. I do think we should consider the same. The question is, what's the scoping on that? What's it look like? Uh, how do we you know, deal with, what, what's the C, as they say, in, in the vernacular, your vernacular, loyally vernacular, what's the CEQA treatment look like? <laughs> um, and that's, that's a question that at least I haven't been able to answer, uh, and I've heard different opinions, candidly, and I think the opportunity over the next uh, few months here uh, uh, until our next meeting to really reflect on that, I think is important. Mm -hmm. And I would certainly encourage us to, to consider that. I'd also encourage us to consider the broader contextual issue. Because it was, it was pointed out, and I think appropriately, if this is shuttered in 2024, this is not insignificant in terms of the total electrical needs of the state. It's a profound question. 
and uh, not just a cost question, uh, it's a reliability question. And that means we got to get moving now. We can't wait. Can't wait a year, can't wait two, five, certainly can't wait ten years. Uh, and that means we all need to start working more collaboratively with our other state agencies and not just wait for the PUC to come down and say, here's what we need to do or figure out what's going to go on with the state water board and this, the one uh, through cooling, which that issue alone, I think, and that's the punditry in me, I think that issue alone makes this from an economic perspective uh, very likely to call the question of its fate and future, just that question alone. Uh, but I, I hope we can take a look and contextualize that question. And state lands, and I think our strategic plan bears it out, um, will play a role in answering those questions. And so I think it would be very helpful if staff could, over the next few weeks, try to help contextualize that question for us. You don't have to answer it. Uh, God bless. <laughs> Love that. Uh, but, but help us uh, contextualize that question, um, as I know a lot of organizations are beginning to do with mm -hmm. renewed vigor and emphasis. Um, but uh, this is a big deal, uh, a big deal. Uh, there's a lot of insecurity, a lot of vulnerability um, in terms of where this was cited. And I don't think pg and &E in its quiet moments would disagree that this may not have been the ideal site uh, for a plant. Nonetheless, they've done uh, an enormous amount to try to secure uh, these facilities, literally and figuratively, and uh, I know they don't take this lightly. Uh, the security and safety of this facility. It's not in their business interest to do so, uh, and uh, certainly their family members too. Uh, they've got uh, they've got thousand employees, and they've got a community they care about as much as we do. Uh, so um, I, I hope we will consider, based on all these factors, the staff recommendation, um, and move towards try to framing this super <laughs> question. And I think ultimately uh, we should end up um, moving in that direction. I just sort of previewing a bias here that I have based upon um, some real reflection. This is not, um, you know, I've not just entered in this in the last few hours or days. I've been thinking through this for the last few months and, uh, and I'm hopeful that the, this, this body will move in the directions the staff has recommended.